probably either Michigan or Nebraska. Um, yeah. I took when I took my visit here. When I took my visit to Clemson, like I instantly was like, "This is where I want to be." It had everything I valued within the school, education-wise. Like the gradual, our graduation rate is uh, it's crazy. Um, I think you can count you can count on two hands the amount of people, the amount of four-year seniors that that haven't graduated. Um, you know, there's obviously the guys that go three and out, but um, that. Um, Coach Sweeney, he's a man of faith. That was a really big thing for me. So that, and then the football is there, obviously. So that, that was the last thing to worry about. And just everybody there, just the culture there in Clemson is amazing. It was everything I wanted within a program. Yeah, um, if I could give like a message to high schoolers, I would say that the stars really don't matter. They don't matter at all. It's just, I mean, that's people ranking you from camps and things. I wasn't the guy who really, I didn't really go to camps, so um, the stars mean nothing. I mean, you have guys like Hunter Renfro. I don't think he had any stars, and he starts for the Raiders. Um, Adam Humphreys. I mean, I could just keep going down the list, but um, even Travis. Travis Etienne, three-star guy. Look at him now. Um, stars don't really mean anything, I don't think, because when you get to when you get there, like you're not gonna get a starting job because you're a five star. Uh, you gotta work for it. So um, I don't think the stars really mean much. It was actually really hard because I'm used to being like that guy, you know, used to um, always playing, um, being one of the best players on the field. And when I got there. Um, it just it just wasn't right, you know. It just wasn't right for me to play that year. Coach Venables wanted me to, but Coach Sweeney thought it'd be best if I uh, redshirted. So at first, it was really hard for me, just not not being able to play in games and everything. But I feel like it worked out for the best. I became like a, a better student of the game, and physically, I developed my body more. Um. I, I mean, yeah, I do think he's the best. But um, there is, like, the way he thinks is, like, you would – it's like, how do you even think of things like that? Um, I don't know. He's so creative with what he does. Um, I feel like he thinks like an offensive coordinator, maybe a little more than the defense. When you go up against an offense like this, I mean, how much motivation is it to be, all right, we're going to be the defense – um, it's just like a great challenge. They're, they're the most efficient offense, and um, hopefully we can just like limit their scoring, slow down them scoring, and give ourselves a shot in the fourth quarter. Doesn't kind of doesn't happen too often. Yeah. Um, so he's the second Heisman I'm playing. So I played before, and um, both of them have brought a great challenge to the game. So. I'm excited, really excited. Yeah, um, I don't know a lot, a lot. Yeah, I play, I play a lot of man. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm have to be on my, I'm have to be on my A game. He's a really good receiver, so. Um, Make as little mis as as little mistakes as I possibly can, and yeah. Uh, yeah. He he's like intense at all times, unless he's around his daughters. Then he's different. But um, um, he's a perfectionist. Um, he stress puts so much stress on us. So when it comes game time, we already have like the feeling of of how it feels and. Um, yeah, really, really intense, like at all times.